Hey guys, it's Becky. It's light and it is Saturday, November 19th. And um, I just wanted to get on here and talk real f with you for a couple of minutes. Um, a couple of days ago, I was really excited to share that I would be hosting the very first Effective Team Talk through the Live Network, hoping to gain, get some momentum and some excitement going and that you can see that I am working just as diligently on matters that I'm asking other people to take part in. I also before I want to, before I talk I want to give some kudos to some people who have really shown interest in um take you know taking up the gauntlet with um this new grassroots organization. Um I can't name everybody. I'm going to try, but um I have Shay, I have Nate, I have Kevin, I have Kenneth I have Dennis. I have, okay, I can't think of everybody. I know there's a couple more people. Um, you know who you are and I'm sorry. But they're not, they're not that many people yet and it doesn't hardly represent the number of followers and friends that I have on Facebook. But nevertheless, I celebrate those people who have decided to step out of their comfort zone or even into, into, their, comfort, into their comfort zone further by collect, connecting with me. Um, Live Network is, is basically an umbrella and it's a place where people can come and, 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 and get the support and get um, connection and so, uh, help and direction and their, the name out there or the, the, the organization that they're trying to start up out there. But these people who have, who have elected to connect with me are all about... Uh, community building and just chatting with them so far um, I'm I'm really proud and very encouraged about what can happen if people get on board but the reality is this and this is what I'm going to talk about so to a couple days ago I was going to host this talk and then last night I got a uh, cancellation from some of the, the support that I was going to have at the the talk and I was really disappointed by that um, I didn't know that was going to happen and then by this morning of there were only a few students that were going to participate in it and a few of them canceled so it led me to try to regroup and change the um, event to something more intimate and so what I realized is that I just did not have the support that I needed today because it's Saturday and maybe probably also because it was pulled together two two days ago. I'm not sure. But I bring that up because the disappointment is real. The discouragement you, you can feel or disheartment you can feel is real. However, that should never stop you from moving forward. And that's what I wanted to talk about. I know that Becoming a part, a, a leader in a community is a big risk as far as just the, the emotional um, experience of it all. Because you are counting on people to, to feel the same way you do about something. And it's hard to get people to, you know, to, to jump on board. Especially when it's free, especially when it's easy, especially when it's not requiring a lot. People are way more tempted to spend money, give give a donation, than they are to, to give their time. And so I've been racking my brain, you know, all week as well as all night. Some of you all know I was up during the night and I had to be reminded that when God tells you to do something, you better accept the challenge and not mumble in the process. So he led me to Exodus. And of course, that's the, the book where Moses is told that he is going to lead his people out of Egypt. And he doesn't think that he's quite capable of that, yet he is still obedient. But the Lord does want a cheerful heart during those process, the, the process. And while I'm not a Moses as far as thinking I'm not capable... I do feel his pain when you're trying to um, get people to believe and understand the 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 bounty that's at the other end of their decision to, you know, join in the um, journey. 
So what I really want you to understand from this talk today, because I'm going to have a real talk tomorrow, but the real talk today is this, and I put it on a quote, is that simple folk have to, in order to change, simple folk have to take responsibility and ownership of their journey. If you don't take it, don't expect anyone else to. And I am, again, speaking to the black community mainly because we are the ones who are going to suffer the most from the decisions that are going to be made. While it may not look exactly like slavery from a few hundred years ago, it is going to still have some of the same residual um, effects that we have yet to even um, totally fix at this point within our own community. We have a long way to go. And if there's one group of people that could stand to actually stand together, it is us. So while there are people who are angry at what has happened, many of them are still moving and flowing like they did the day before the election. And many will still participate in the change for the nation. But the truth for the black community is we have to first change ourselves. So we have to be willing to put in effort. And effort is not um, something that people necessarily, is that the thing that you want to do, but it's the thing that you have to do. So I will be back. I am not stopping. That This little setback is nothing. I just wanted to share because setbacks will happen. And so for me to even pretend like I'm perfect in any of this or have it all together or figured out, I want you to see that I don't. But yet, I'm going to still move ahead because, you know, you fall down, you get up, okay? And like I said before, you know, I put on, put some music out there. The This battle ain't mine. So all I have to do is be obedient and redirect, regroup, redirect, renew, do all of those things so that I can get a job done. And I really pray that people really decide to see that you are the change that you want. You are the leader you're looking for. Stop asking or saying that we need new leadership or we need to do something new. The moment that you come up with an idea, that's the new thing. That's the innovation. Use it. Okay? Have a blessed day. Bye.